See what I have here? Two. Fresh. Brand new pack of magic. Corset 2019. Specifically selected to provide you the viewers with guidance and wisdom. This, these two decks will be your oracle for the month of August 2018. These packs of cards were gifted to me, given unto me. It was a gift. I'm going to add these to my Pokemon deck, with which I do monthly readings. We will be adding some magic cards. I will open the deck. Each side will get two cards to represent their month of August. It's a gift unto me so that I may pass the gift on to you. Chill. Chill. From me, chill. In honor of the gift that I received, I will also be wearing a gift that was given to me. Another gift, a crystal made out of plastic. Beautiful colors. You probably can't even really see the, the depth of and dynamism of the colors in this plastic piece of plastic. But it has served me well, and it will serve me well today. Kind of a cute look. For sure, a cute look. Look at Zane. Zane, I'm looking good now. Zane. All about this. All right. Enough with the introductions. We are going to give each sign. We're going to pull two cards. Thus, I'm going to open them first, and then I will shuffle them. Because the way it works in here is the rares and the mythic, myth, mythicals cards are always at the back. So we have to shuffle. I am shuffling the cards now. Um... And as I shuffle, I'm going to have to focus. Magic cards. In the, the spirit of the magic. Bring me cards that will represent and give messages to each astrological sign for the month of August. Okay? This is August. Horoscope using Cards from Magic's Corset 2019. And we are going to begin, whoops, now with Leo. Because we're starting in August. Leo, two cards. Your first card is Highland Game, Earth. Your second card is a Johnny's Pride Mate. Let's see what these cards say. Highland Game. Bring down a stag and fix it 
fix its horns upon Errol's head. She heard the wisdom of our ancestors. That's by Chianel, who whispers twice. That makes not a lot of sense to me. But when, but what we know about Highland Game is that when Highland Game dies, you gain two life. So this is signifying to me, Leos, you can, you can let something go. You can kill something in your life. It's going to bring more life to you. The wisdom of the ancestors. Bring down the stag and wear its horns. There we go. That's what's happening. Um, Ajani's pride mate, a white. That's also a life kind of card. When one of us prospers, the pride prospers. Ooh, when you gain life, you can put a 1-1 one, one counter on Ajani's pride mate. Sweet. So, um, that's telling you, talking to you about get with your pride. Ooh, it's a lion. Leo. Cards come through magic cards. They're coming through. So basically the lion is going to kill the um, highland game and then wear its horns as protection. So whatever that means to you, Leos, kill something and bring it back for the good of your tribe, the good of your pride. When one of us prospers, the pride prospers, Leo. All right. Then we have two cards for... Just We're going to put these about here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Shoot, I've got extra cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's eight extra cards. Okay, well, whatever. Maybe we'll come back and give it up. Well, we'll give them. Well, Leo's was good. We'll come back. Well, maybe we'll see. If there's a card I don't like, I'll pull extra cards. How about that? Okay, moving on to Virgo. Virgo's got Skyscanner. The Municipal Senate makes extensive use of the Thopters mostly to gather dirt on rival senators. Oh my gosh. The Sky Scanners. Look out for Sky Scanners, Virgos, this month. Don't let anybody try to drum up dirt on you. Look out for Thopters that are trying to get dirt on you. Hired Blade. If you want them dead, buy some poison. If you want them to have the worst day of their life before dying, then let's talk price. Virgos, look out. Look out. Because someone's trying to gather dirt. You got like, there might be somebody who is like, does not have your best interest in mind. Keep a lookout for that. We're going to get a clarifying card because I have extras. Havoc Devils. For devils, burning things in is the highest form of comedy, diversion, and artistic expression. Interesting. So like the devil card, fire card, burning something. I'm saying, Virgos, find out who his hired blade is and then burn them and enjoy it. How about that? How about that, Virgos? August 2018. Libras. Arcane Encyclopedia. Knowledge itself is neither good nor evil. Just as the wrong book in the wrong hands could doom all existence, the same book in the, in the right hand could save it. Draw, draw a card. Pay three mana, draw a card. Arcane Encyclopedia. Knowledge. Um, so Libras this month, it's looking like you got knowledge. You got two artifact cards. The Gearsmith Guardian made in its creator's image, though slightly more clangy. <laughs> um, so yeah, use your knowledge and then build yourself something that in your image, make something. Take your knowledge, gain some knowledge, and then you're going to make something in August. Okay, Libras? Yeah. Make something that really reflects you and your individuality. And don't worry if it's a little bit clangy. That's the message we have here. And use your knowledge for good. Okay? Make something good. Okay? Knowledge itself is neither good nor evil. Don't be afraid of knowledge. Okay? 
Who's next? Scorpio. Scorpio, you got Shield Mare, White Card. When it passes, Order defeats Chaos. Okay, you have a Shield Mare coming in here, August Scorpios, to create some order. If you feel Chaos, the Shield Mare is coming in to defeat the Chaos. And then you also have Submerged Boneyard, a blue and black mana land card. Long after the land has given up the last of its secrets, there will still be mysteries in the depths of the sea. Mm. Okay, so mysteries in the sea. So it's like the sea kind of can represent like mystery and chaos. The shield mirror is coming in to bring order to chaos. And you're like, the chaos is always actually going to be there. Like there's always a chaotic underbelly underworld and so it's like you're coming to, you have to be comfortable with that i want to clarify in card scorpio another horse so that i'm glad i picked it you got another horse you got a pegasus another white pegasus a pegasus chooses its rider bearing the worthy into the clouds and tossing all others to the ground so it's like you've got a couple of horses coming to your aid, choosing you um, as you... It's almost like, you know how the... At the time, the land is getting submerged. So that is like... So the mayor, Pegasus is here to like carry you up. Okay, so Scorpio. The land is being submerged. So Earth, your reality of Earth is being submerged into like some kind of emotional situation. That's what the water covering the earth is, okay? That's what that represents. That could also represent the chaos. The chaos is telling you, and then the mayor, shield mayor is saying that when the chaos is coming in, the shield mayor is coming in to bring order to chaos, and the shield mayor ha might have wings, and it's going to lift you up into the air, not on the ground. It's going to leave everybody else to the ground to get sucked up into the emotional world. So what this is saying, Scorpio, is... Get on to the Pegasus and fly a little bit higher out of the emotions, more air, be more logical, and don't get caught up in the emotions. Look at everything very detached from it, the detached P O B. How about that? Do you see how? See how I read these cards? Do, do you do you doubt? The groovy Cleveland psychic? No. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Okay, okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. You've got a, th a flying thopter. A 1-1 one -one token creature. So you've got a little thopter flitting around you. And then you've got skeleton archer. When it comes to killing with precision... A soul is but a hindrance, Isareth the Awakener says. <laughs> so, I kind of see this as like, this guy's got a, a bow and arrow. This, this thing's like flying around and this guy's like, just like, get it. Okay. Clarifying card. Thornhide Wolves, Sagittarius. Halana grew brambles to create a barricade around our camp, hoping that it would keep the wolves out. That was this mistake for which we almost paid dearly. Hmm. Alana, Alina Trapper of Kessig. So I'm guessing it sounds like they thought the brambles would keep the wolves out, but the wolves are actually thornhide wolves. And so it's like they are brambles. Ah. Uh, okay. 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 
how are these related? What this represents is you might think, Sagittarius, that if you grow brambles around you and have like thorns that you're going to keep out the wolves. Not all wolves can be kept out by the brambles. Some like the brambles. So this over here is as, is saying you can protect yourself with precision and take down the enemies that need to be taken down, okay? You don't need a all-encompassing protective barrier, Sagittarius, to keep everything out. You have the power to precisely and soullessly destroy anything that needs to be taken out, okay? So that's the message I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, for August. You don't need to try to keep everything out. Just keep the stuff out that you are guided to, okay? Sag. After Sagittarius is Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay. Has anyone gotten any mythics or rares yet? Just checking. Each pack comes with some. No one's gotten any yet. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm sad to say, <laughs> Capricorn, you didn't get any mythics or rares either, but you did get a cool card that has two suits to it, two colors. But first we're going to go with Gutter Snipe. So I found a new toy. Want to play? Says this goblin shaman, Gutter Snipe. Um, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent. Mm. So this is like encouraging you to play sorceries and instants. And, and in a fun way. So Gutter Snipe encourages you to take action and says that when you do, you're going to get extra, it's going to be, you're going to get bonus points, basically, for getting out there, playing, taking action, fire card, red card. But then you also got Regal Bloodlord, a vampire soldier with flying. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you gained life this turn, you get to create a bat creature with flying. This is a black and white card. Those of esteemed birth earn a most esteemed death. Interesting. So this card... This card is encouraging you... It's telling you you get bonuses. You can deal extra damage to opponents and you get 1-1 one, one black flying creatures if you've gained life this turn. So this is encouraging you to go out there, Capricorns. Get your life. Play. Have fun. And... You know, you are you are of esteemed birth. So go out there and, and enjoy an esteemed death. Death means change. And also failure. So go out there and fail and enjoy it. And then you're going to get... I don't know, how many clarifying cards do I have left? I think I have enough. Yeah, I'm going to give you a clarifying card. Oh, perfect. Mighty Leap. So Capricorn, this says... Oh, so if you do Mighty Leap, your, your creature gets plus two, plus two, and gains flying. So they leap, and then they fly. I feel a presence of the god pharaoh in the second sun, and I rise upon its rays. Cool. So you got to get out there. Take that leap, because you're going to grow some wings flying. Vampire soldier flying. You're going to gain some wings, and yeah, get out there. And this is an instant. Look, an instant card. And whenever you play an instant, you get to deal two extra damage to an opponent. So you're going to make surefire gains this month, Capricorn. If you take some chances, take a leap, get out there and play. Have fun. Get your head. Get in the game. Capricorn. Aquarius. Cancel. I decide what stands in my way. Cancel. But you have to cancel this month, Aquarius. Something needs to be canceled. Or maybe someone needs to be canceled. Inspired charge, Aquarius. Impossible. 
How could they overwhelm us? We had a barricade. We wore elephants. And they were barely a tenth of our number, said General Avatora. Well, that's because they were inspired. So don't worry about canceling someone out. You don't need Aquarius. You don't need a t everybody. You just need to be inspired and you need to have good morale. And that's going to help you out in your endeavors. Okay? So Aquarius, in August, cancel. Don't be afraid to get some cancellations in there. You decide what stands in your way. How about that? And when something isn't standing in your way, inspire charge. Go get it. It doesn't matter if there's barricades or war elephants in their way. If you're if you're inspired, guess what? You can take it down. You can do it, Aquarius. I know you can do it. I know you can do it. You decide what stands in your way, and you do. You get through it. Pisces. Pisces, you're the soldier this month. The token creature, soldier, coming in. That could be you. Maybe it's someone coming in to help you. And you got a rare. You got one of the rares. Sarkhan's unsealing. What happened here? Whenever you cast a creature spell with power 4, 5, or 6, Sarkhan unsealing deals 4 damage to any target. When you cast a creature spell with power 7 or greater, Sarkhan's unsealing, unsealing deals 4 damage to each opponent and each creature or planeswalker they control. Phew. Okay, so this is an enchantment. It, it affects the entire game board, and then when you play something really big, a big powerful creature, it does damage to extra damage. It's just So this is payoff for making big moves, Pisces. So you got some soldier coming in here telling you to make some big moves. Let's get a... I think you're going to get a bonus because you got a token. Tokens, I always like to get more, you know, you want more stuff. Talons of Wildwood. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature deals one plus one plus one and has trample. You can return this from your graveyard to your hand. Okay. So Pisces. This Talon. The special talons of Wildwood are going to help you build up your creatures to do extra damage. So you're going to play big, Pisces in August, make big moves, play big, you'll get extra payoff. And maybe that means returning something from the graveyard. So maybe it means playing with something bigger some or something you used to have something you used to use, bring it back, especially if it's big. So if there's something Pisces that you felt like you let go of for a little bit, maybe it die, you let it die for a little bit, now's the time to bring it back, especially if it's something that was powerful to you. Because if it was powerful, it's going to get extra bonuses. It's going to do extra bonus damage. All right? So Pisces, bring something back, bring something big back. That, whatever that means to you, Pisces. That's the message of that. Say if Daniel Nash Potato, the psychic, Groovy Cleveland psychic is getting for you. Okay. Pisces. Aries. Aries, month of August. You've got Death Baron. <laughs> Another rare. You got a rare. Congrats, Aries. Skeletons you control get, and other zombies get plus one, plus one, have Death Touch. This says, for the necromancer barons, killing and recruitment are one and the same. <laughs> All right, Aries. So don't be afraid to put someone in their place because that sometimes is how you get people on their side. The death baron, it says, for necromancer death barons, killing and recruitment are the same. So that means when they kill something, it's on their side. That can happen. That's something you can do, Aries. If you're right and someone needs is wrong 
and you hold your ground, you're going to show that you know when you're right. You're going to show that you have good judgment. You're going to show that you, you hold your ground when you're right. And, and that's a good quality to have that people are going to respect you for, even if you had to put them in their place. It's like, it's like when you call someone out sometimes, they'll thank you later. Keep that in mind, Aries. And then you got Foul Orchard. <laughs> it says, The stench of rotting meat lures flies, goblins, and young raptors. <sighs> okay. That's telling me that if someone around you is being rotten, and they're attracting the flies and stuff, maybe that's what you need to like put an end to that could be it we're gonna get a clarifying card two-headed zombie menace thread their torsos to thread the torsos together with angel hair to ensure they will cooperate in battle that's from the stitcher's tome oh that's how you do a two-headed zombie if they cooperate if you add if you stitch it together with angel hair. Now, this is interesting because you did have Death Baron, and Death Baron skeletons you control and other zombies you control get plus one, plus one, and have Death Touch. So if you play with both these cards, he gets plus one, plus one, making him five, three, and he has Death Touch. That's huge. So maybe you're also like stitching two people together. Maybe you're bringing two people together. You, something you could be doing um, but if you stitch them together with angel hair then they'll cooperate so it's like you know use be nice to them and stuff Aries and they're going to work together and they'll work with you and it'll be it'll be good so don't let the foul orchard stench get to you make the most out of it stitch everything together and everybody work cooperate Taurus. Taurus, for the month of August, you have Smelt. The creature of new weapons demands the destruction of others. Okay. And you got Druid of the Cowl. The wild tangle of the cowl provides sanctuary to life that watched the first buildings rise. The wild tangle of the cow provides sanctuary to life that watched the first buildings rise. All right. The druid gives you land. Smelt destroys artifacts. So this is saying you may have to let something go in order to create new weapons, Taurus. And then also it encourages you to find sanctuary in nature, basically get away from the first buildings the buildings and stuff you want to go to the wild tangle of the cowl so go into nature it's almost like Taurus let go of destroy target artifact that the artifacts are like in the game are like machines and stuff destroy your the machines you gotta let go of your, don't spend as much time with the phone Taurus August this is telling you you really are going to want to like get away from buildings, get away from man-made technology, etc. Get into the nature as much as possible. Um, yeah, I pulled a, I pulled another card. <laughs> I pulled I pulled a bonus card, and then snapping Drake, foul-tempered, poorly trained, and mule stubborn. The Drake is the perfect test of the master's will. Why, this is also wild. So this is saying let... Forget about the order and structure that artifacts provide. Get in touch with the wild inside of you. Like the wild, foul-tempered, poorly trained, mule-stubborn drake. What is the drake inside of you? What is the part of you that is wild, untrained, foul-tempered, a met? It's the perfect test for the master's will. So, like, what within you needs 
will, Taurus, what within you do you need to harness? What, what's wild? Get in touch with the wild part of you and work towards folk training it to do what you want to do. Bam! Come through magic cards for the Taurus. Gemini. Gemini, you got Hostile Minotaur. The bellow of a Minotaur always translates to charge. Charge! Okay, so Gemini, you're gonna have to charge forth with something in August. Charge forth and like scream when you're doing it. Bellow. And then you got Switcheroo. Say hello to your new friend. Exchange control of two target creatures. Gemini. You're getting a new friend, maybe someone who was an enemy before is now a friend. Maybe something you were struggling with before is now a friend, Gemini. So you're charging forward with with project, and maybe it's something that's new, something unexpected, something that was trouble for you is now a friend, and now easy in August. Sweet. And finally, Cancer, for the month of August, you got Invoke the Divine. Ooh. Let go of all that harms you. Cast your burdens into the darkness and build for the faithful a house of light. From the Song of All, Canto 1008. Okay. Cancer, in August, you're going to be letting go of that which harms you and casting your burdens into the darkness and building a faithful house of light. Simply put center yourself and gain for life that's what this does and then you also get anticipate divining the future is easy when you hold the power to sway it mm. look invoke the power of the divine and then you got divining the future is easy this is saying cancer get yourself right in your head get centered get real make sure you're feeling good and then you're going to see that future the one that you want and you're going to guide you're going to guide your way you're all the way over to the new future because you're coming at it from a very centered focused place of comfort divinely inspired Cool message, Cancer, but you also get a bonus. I've got a clarifying card for you. You got Aviation Pioneer. They say perfection is unattainable, but they said that about flight, too. So this is saying get, get out there, Aviation Pioneer, be a pioneer. Let yourself fly. Don't be daunted by the haters saying something can't be done, Cancer. You can do it says the aviation pioneer dream big if we could do human flight we can do anything so that is your message cancer for august those were your guys messages for um the month of august now who do i want to include like, what cards do I feel like are missing in my um, my deck? Like, which cards really speak to me here? I mean, I kind of like Shield Mare when it passes Order Defeats Chaos. That could be helpful in a deck, in my deck. Um, Arcane Encyclopedia, Knowledge itself is neither good nor evil just depends on whose hands it's in that's good this is kind of good when one of us prospers the pride prospers maybe you could use that see i have two white though i don't know if i want two white card what if i maybe pick one of each thing 
Mm-hmm. Mm. Mighty Leap. Love to include that. I like Cancel. I kind of want to include Cancel, maybe. It's very, it's just, it's just super, it's very clear. I like the clear ones. Oh, I'm picking a lot of white cards because I also like Inspired Charge. Nothing gets in your way. We'll see. We'll see which ones I end up putting in there. Mm -hmm. Druid of the Cow. That could be good. Get back and hang out in nature. The Wild Tangle. Get in touch with the wild side. That's nice. Ooh, I actually like this one too, which was, I think I read in the same situation. Foul tempered, poorly trained, and mule stubborn. The Drake is the perfect test of the master's will. Yeah, I might throw that in there. Well, yeah, I guess I'll include some of these. It looks like it's all blue and white that I'm kind of including. One green and one artifact, but you know. We'll see. I'll balance. I can, I, I'm always editing the deck, and I'm always, you know, balancing it out. So, but to be honest, I just got a lot of white cards. I really did in these two packs. Hmm. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my reading of the Magic Booster packs. Um... My name's Dale Mash Potato. This has been Dale Mash Potato Groovy, Psych Groovy Cleveland Psychic. Um, I hope everyone has a spectacular August. Ta ta.